始めようらしくないね嘘だと思うの<笑>うんうん嬉しい改めて全員に力を貸してくれるちょっと待てよあのホムラビタまだ何もしてないだろ鬼であることに苦しみ自らの行いを悔いているものを踏みつけにはしない大丈夫俺を心配すんじゃねえ The kindness that is presented in anime is shown in stories. The concept is the majority of the time gray. There's no black and white. There's no good or evil. There's always good and bad, and there's always bad and evil. I'm here to explore the gray area in between anime because the majority of the time an anime tries to send a message and it's either underrated or ignored or like neglected. The messages that anime tries to send because I feel like we downplay the writers a lot. They truly do pull a lot of information into their stories and try to send a moral message. But we never get them sometimes. And the theme of a main character being too merciful, the kindness part, is just so overused. I can't even count how many times they've done it now. Let's just use Demon Slayer as a reference. Right. So, for example, Demon Slayer. The demons are basically a parasite, such as Titans are to the world in Town of Titan. Demons are pests that need to be dealt with. No one sees that demons were once human for the majority of the show. And even some of the manga, Tanjiro seems to be the only one that really is willing to synthesize with the demons. During the selection exams Tanjiro takes, he encounters a huge demon with arms wrapped all around him. He finds that he's responsible for the death of Sabido and um, Makamo. Along with the previous students of Tanjiro's teacher, so this demon killed all of them. Eventually, in the end, that Tanjiro does kill the demon. But what makes Tanjiro different is that it takes strength to be kind and want to help others. Everyone is born with the instinct to want to live, but it takes true strength to go out of their way to help others. Kindness is a choice, not human instinct. So. This difference between what Tanjiro does and what every other character does is that Tanjiro views sympathy towards the demon. He feels a lot of, I wouldn't say regret, but he certainly feels some guilt for killing the demons, even though he knew he was, there was a responsibility that he had to, he was obligated to kill demons. Demons represent the dark side of all humans. Demons are what humans are capable of becoming. Having demon slayers in the world of demon slayer to just have them viewed as filth only to bring hatred and rage into the world. Why Tanjiro has this sense of feeling compassion helps him see both sides of the story. He is strong because he refuses to hate. Kindness is a weapon that helps others, not to hate others, not to take lives. Kindness is a weapon that destroys hatred and violence without having to harm others. It stops conflict from happening. This is also shown in Toku Ghoul when Kanki is pressured into choosing one life over another. He sees both sides of the coin and can't really choose one life over another. In the end, he was unable to save both of them, but he never threw away his humanity. Even in such a dire situation, he refused to let the difference of ghouls and humans cloud his judgment. He never saw one worth more as the other. That's not being weak or giving pity, that's called true strength. It doesn't matter that he was weaker than Jason at the time, what mattered was that he never gave in. And another um, good fight I could mention was Kaneki vs Amon. So Amon clearly has his prejudice against schools. Amon is against goals, but on the other hand, Kanki doesn't hate him for it because he understands how he must feel as Amon must feel. Having his friends killed by goals left and right, Amon's hatred is fairly justified, but Kanki wants to tell Amon that not all goals are bad. As Kanki gently removes his mask and politely asks for his name, Amon respectfully answers and replies, Amon. Amon Kotaro da. So I feel that the kindness that's presented in shows can really affect people, not just in a way to show sympathy towards others, but gain respect too. So that's 
one thing I should really be kept in mind. How each anime portrays kindness is very unique and I feel it's very overlooked. Acceptance is also part of kindness because this correlates with kindness as well. They are two in the same in a sense. Prime example actually, in Drifters, the Drifters are essentially legendary warriors that are unmatched. But in the show Drifters, the Drifters shows their kindness as their acceptance to the other races. The Drifters did see other races, but they didn't see them as lower than themselves. They met elves and dwarves, and really the Drifters admired the, the dwarves' skills when it came to craftsmanship, and they really saw that the elves had just dramatically increased skill when it comes to bow and arrow. The Drifters are supposed to be legendary warriors with skills matched to none. Their acceptance and kindness towards the elves and dwarves were just so strong that an alliance was formed. Kindness plays a big role in storytelling and overall life as well. It's not wrong to show anger at times, but every human being should be kind to one another, as kindness is what stops evil in the world. It is the lacking of kindness that leads the people to become violent, depressed, emotionless, and overall just suffer and become sad. Anyways, I know this video is a bit short, but thank you all for watching. It means more to me than you actually think. I post lots of stuff on my Twitter too, so be sure to check out my Twitter. It's not mandatory, but I urge you to go check it out. I've made friends with a lot of other anime YouTubers, and I think I'm making some progress. I'm going to do a lot of collabs and such. And remember to be nice to each other. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and be sure to stay safe. This is Manali, and I'll see you guys next time.